orthopedic surgeon. So I'm just learning how to explain that because in your country, orthopedic surgeon and traumatologist in neurosurgery and plastics, that's all combined in one term, orthopedic. So I do all of, all of that. Mm -hmm. So what's going to be your lecture about? So today I'm lecturing the medical students. Uh, the first lecture, I'm going to give a part of a talk that I gave last weekend in, in Ohrid, if I say that town correct, uh, their Infectious Disease Congress. I talked about infections in total joints, infections in knee replacements and hip replacements. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give a little bit of that lecture, not all of it, because it's not all appropriate for medical students. Uh, but more importantly, I'm going to teach them how to be a good orthopedic surgeon. And to be a good orthopedic surgeon, you know have to do how to do a good history and a good physical exam. So that's what I'm going to teach them today. You have visited several medical institutions and educational institutions in Macedonia. So what yes. do you think about the medicine and the education in medicine? Uh, it's, well, first of all, I'm very impressed by the uh, orthopedic doctors. Uh, their skills are outstanding. The training is outstanding. Um, the country is different, though, the way we practice. So, of course, in America, mostly private insurance, okay? So that has some different issues with it when you're working with private insurance and how the patient pays and how the insurance company pays. So here, you know, it's all the same. Um, but you don't have all the equipment. So it's really a, a lack of equipment, which I think would help your country a lot uh, if they get in certain, well, that'd be an implant or tools that we use in surgery. Of course, orthopedic surgery, we use more tools than any other specialty. So tools are extremely important for us. It's like the car mechanic. He can't fix your car if he doesn't have the right tools, okay? You have the tools, at least some of them, but sometimes they run in short supply. So that is an issue. Um, and I've been working most of my time in Skopje at the University, the Trauma Hospital. Uh, again, I'm impressed by the skills. The skills of the surgeons are outstanding. Um, but it's trying to find the time. You have a limited uh, operating time room, so time to schedule the patients in the room. So they get scheduled, get taken, but uh, it's the resources. Resources are important for medicine. So I hope and pray that this country, well, the resources will get better. And so what, what is your opinion about the medical students and the medical education? Uh, again, I'm, imp I'm impressed. I actually lectured to medical students yesterday in Skopje. So uh, uh, if I pronounce your town right, Steep. Steep. Yeah. So I'm here today to lecture the medical students. Um, I was impressed, very impressed yesterday. We'll find out today. But yesterday I was very impressed by their answers because I asked them some very difficult questions. And they had very good answers. And, and thinking, you know, when you... When you answer a question in medical school, you learn facts. You learn lots of facts. But it's more than facts, it's how to think. And I can tell that they are very skilled in how to think, how to think through a problem, how to think through this. So that's what I was impressed with. What's your agenda in the next days? So uh, I'm here today. Uh, tomorrow I will be at Skopje again with the Trauma Hospital. Uh, I'm assisting on a couple of very complex surgeries uh, tomorrow. Uh, and then I fly home Saturday. <laughs> е од областта на ортопедијата, одржано од, од страна на професорот а, доктор Брик Ленц, кој што е реномиран американски професор, инаку специалист ортопед. А, на денешно предавање мислам дека а, ке присуствуват голем број на студенти од медицинскиот факултет и се надевам дека а, ке поводи голем интерес, бидејќи се работи за сепак една комплексна гранка од областта на медицината, ортопедија, која што а, може да не научи многу, и се надевам дека а, предавањето ќе биде едукативно за сите нас. Инаку, предавањето е во склоп на проектот организиран од Министерството за а, култура на Македонија и Министерството за а, образование и Министерството за здравство, а тоа е Macedonian US Physician Project, во кој што се работи за размена на американските а, доктори со нивните македонски колеги, поточно а, интерактивна настава и одржување на такви интерактивни предавања и болничка пракса, со цел да се разменат искуства. Што за студентите би значило? Ова за нас студентите би значило многу, значи во позитивна конотација, поради тоа што а, се надевам искрено дека а, многу од нас може да ги да се здобијат со големи знаења од областта на ортопедијата денес и да го зголемат нивното знаење целокупно кое што го имаат од областта на ортопедијата.